Hello fam, welcome back. I am currently getting ready and I thought let's sit down and chat about baby registry items. What we need, what we don't need. I figured I would tell you a bunch of my favorites from when I registered with Logan, but that was like over three years ago now. So I think there are new things. I want you guys to tell me if there are things you love, but I'm gonna go, go through a whole list of stuff that I'm gonna like slowly start buying or if you're similar pregnancy to me, like similar timing that you could start buying too. So let's jump in. Okay, so wouldn't be pregnancy if I didn't do a skincare video last week. And then this week I have a huge pimple. I think I know how I got it though. I did a workout with my makeup on like a dummy last week. And I think that's why I broke out. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. I'm not really gonna be talking about makeup today, but I figured we could just chat while I'm getting ready. Okay, so I feel like this process can be really overwhelming. I feel like once you find out you're pregnant and you start like talking to people and thinking like, what do I need? It just becomes like, oh my God, where do I even start? So I always feel like the place to start is the newborn stuff because honestly, a lot of the stuff that you're gonna need eventually, you don't need to get it before the baby comes. You can, of course, and like my type A personality, I'm probably gonna want oh, most of my stuff, but I also think this is different for first time moms versus um, if you're already a mom and you already have a kid. Because when you already have a kid, you already have stuff. So it feels less overwhelming for me this time around. Okay, so where I like to start is thinking about newborn stuff. So stuff you need immediately, which the first place my mind goes is diapers. Of course you're gonna need diapers and of course you're going to need things to feed the baby because essentially all they do at the beginning is eat, sleep, pee and poop. So you wanna make sure you're stocked with your newborn diapers. We really liked Huggies, we've actually used Huggies like our entire like our entire time with Logan. He's almost out of diapers. The Coterie ones are like the like most expensive, like help healthiest, most like organic ones. But the reason I bring this up is because on Amazon, you can do a diaper fund and we did this and it was amazing because like if you're having a shower or anything like that, you can register just for people to donate to your diaper fund, which I'm telling you, you will get so much use out of. I'll put a little link below for you guys if you want to do one, it's super easy. You can just put, well, it'll walk you through it, but it's super easy. So diapers, biggest thing. And then feeding. So with feeding, you have to think about a few different things. Obviously, if you're breastfeeding, it's gonna be different than if you're bottle um, formula feeding. So you're gonna need a pump, probably if you're breastfeeding. No, definitely if you're breastfeeding. You're also gonna need bottles. Either way, we got Logan on bottles pretty early just so that I, you know, he wasn't only, only breastfeeding. It's, I think, a good idea because it just gives you a little bit more freedom. You know, if they're only, only breastfeeding, it can feel like you are just their cow. That was important to us so that like Ethan could feed him once in a while. It was still breast milk, but it was from a bottle. So I have bottles that I really liked last time around. I believe they're called the Como Tomo bottles. With that said, Ethan told me recently he saw something about them that maybe they aren't the best. So I would love to ask you guys if you have bottles that are your favorite. I thought those were amazing because they were supposed to be really similar to a breast where it wasn't gonna be like a big shock to the baby like when they were going from bottle to boob. So I loved those. The other really important thing was a sterilizer because you're going through so many bottles, washing them constantly and they need to be sterilized. There's also some like on the counter dishwasher specifically for bottles. I'm probably gonna get that this time around. So I haven't used, haven't tried it yet, but the Brezza sterilizer was, oh my God, we used it so much for binkies, for bottles, all the pieces of the bottles. You can use it for pump parts and everything just needs to be washed so frequently and sanitized that it's nice to just have that sitting up on your counter. You load it up, it's really quick. I think there are multiple settings too. You can wash, sanitize, dry. I'm not positive. It's honestly been a long time. We're gonna have to like dig out all the baby stuff, but that sterilizer was very good to us and important to have. Another thing you're gonna want is, well, you're gonna need most likely is a bassinet unless you're co-sleeping, but I think people that do co-sleeping also do bassinets. Now, we loved the snoo. This is a very polarizing topic for one reason or the other. I'm not gonna go into all the details that people love or hate it or have strong opinions on it. But for me, after about a month 
or so. It was incredible for us with Logan. We got hours of extra sleep that we would not have gotten. We bought it so that we could use it for our next child. So that is the plan once this baby comes to also put them in the snoo. We had him in there for probably six-ish months before we put him in the crib in his own room. I think if you haven't had a baby yet, you don't understand fully how that sleep deprivation can <laughs> really rock your world. And even just an extra hour or two or 15 more minutes than you would have gotten, worth it. Because all of those minutes and hours add up. It, yeah, I don't know if you have questions about it specifically, leave them in the comments, but I loved it. And I don't wanna spend too much time talking about it because there's a lot to say. And I feel like people get, people have strong opinions about it but I loved it and I recommend it. So you're, if you do do this new, you're also gonna want the swaddles that come with it, get one or two just in case baby gets dirty. And we really only put him in there at night at the beginning. I think we started doing naps eventually, but at the beginning it was just at night. And then he would nap in our upper baby bassinet which came with our stroller. So that's another big purchase item good to register for was the stroller. We did the Upa Baby Vista system and we'll be doing, we're using that again with the baby. We actually bought that one specifically because it turns into a toddler, like there's a toddler seat that attaches and then you can put the bassinet on top so we can walk with Logan and the baby in one stroller. And we have already, we already own it, which is so nice. So I love that, especially if you're planning on having multiple kids, but there's there's a few stroller options. I really did love the Uppa Baby. I thought like the wheels were the nicest and like the turn was the nicest. My only hang up with it was the car seat was pretty heavy. And I hear that the Nuna light is like super light and better. So take that for what it's worth. A lot of people will do the Nuna car seat and the Uppa Baby stroller. There's just like a little adapter you have to get to put them together. That's a good option. Um, and then the other stroller is that everyone talks about that I've heard is the Duna. And that's a really good one, I think, for travel because it cl it's smaller, it closes up really easily, but it is pretty small and short. So if you're a super tall person, it could be uncomfortable to like lean over. Those are all the things I've heard about strollers. I'm probably gonna get the Duna this time around because I don't have it. And I would like to just have a little smaller option because the Uppa Baby system is so large. With that said, it is high quality, it is durable. We've had it for two plus years, we love it. We've traveled with it. I do recommend it. For binkies, we really like the bibs. I know I know that binkies are also triggering for people, um, but that's what we use with Logan. And he actually wouldn't keep it in his mouth for very long. So there was no weaning process. It was actually insanely easy. We gave it to him at the hospital, which people say like, you're not supposed to do, but he needed it. He wanted it, he got it. And then he was over it in like, I, I wanna say a couple months. Like it was not an issue. So we liked the bibs ones. And then for carriers, I think it is important to get a carrier pretty early on because you want your hands free and the baby's sleeping so much. It's nice to be able to just strap the baby to you. The Solly wrap is awesome. It's really comfortable and nice to like, for a littler baby, once your baby gets a little bigger, you're gonna want something bigger. I really liked the Ergo baby. That was probably our favorite one. Ethan liked that one the best too. I think it was the most comfortable, felt the most durable. You could really like walk around outside and like, even hike with the baby on that one. And I think you can put the baby towards you and away from you with that one, which is nice. Okay, swaddles and sleep sacks are next. Obviously you need to swaddle the baby like pretty immediately. So like the muslin swaddles are great, but we loved, loved, loved the halo swaddles. Um, I do think that they have some, a couple newer brands that are slightly better for this type of swaddle. But the most important thing is just that it's a Velcro and you don't have to do all the like magician swaddly work you know what i'm saying because swaddling can be like an art form <laughs> and genuinely with a newborn like we don't have time for art you know so we loved loved the halo because it's just velcro you put them in and then you velcro them shut and they're good two other things make sure the onesies that you get for newborn are zippers no buttons no snaps i'm telling you right now i'm sure people have told you this and you're like yeah but like the cute ones have the snaps on them stop it there are cute ones with zippers, okay? I promise you, you're not gonna wanna sit there with a squirmy little baby and try and button all the buttons, okay? Your eyes are gonna be half shut, you're asleep, it's the middle of the night, don't do it, okay? Zippers. And for sleep sacks, once he transitioned to sleep sacks, which this would probably not be right away, the swaddle is really the newborn thing, but we registered for the kite baby sleep sacks and they are pricier, so I like to put that on the registry because it's a pricier item, and we, were obsessed with them. Logan was obsessed with them. He stayed in them. We kept getting the larger and larger and larger size as he grew. He probably stayed in them till he was two. 
I think we only recently transitioned him out of a sleep sack into just like a blanket because when they're moving all around in the crib, you want them to stay covered the whole time. So it's just nice to not have to worry about it. And the Kite Baby ones are amazing. The Kite Baby PJs with the zippers, they're so soft. And then we still have Logan in the toddler Kite Baby PJs because they're incredible. Fabric is 10 out of 10, they are expensive. So he only has a few pairs of those, but we love them. As far as washing the baby goes, you're gonna either wanna get one of those little newborn tubs, which we used, or depending on your kitchen sink, you can get one of the flower things that just sits in the sink. Oh my God. I can't believe I'm gonna have a newborn, like a tiny little baby. I'm so excited. It's really fun to wash them in the sink if you can, or buy both because, or register for both because it's good to have options. We definitely use both. I think we used the flower one with Logan, but we might not have because we were in a different, we were in an apartment then. Then you're gonna want some good baby soap. We love the baby Gannix. We still use that on Logan and then a hundred million towels. And this isn't necessarily for like when they get out of the bath, which I will link a great bath towel that we still use on Logan today. It's like a, it might not be great for a newborn though. You probably just want a towel for a newborn. Anyway, I'll link a bunch of different things, but you're gonna want like muslin burp cloths for our feeding. And you're gonna want approximately 1 million of them. You can literally never, never have enough towels. <laughs> okay, let's talk about monitors quickly. We really liked the Nanit. That's what we still use for Logan. And it just depends if you want a monitor or to be able to use your phone. We personally liked being able to use our phone. I like how you can tr like look back on video. We can see like when he wakes up or when he falls asleep or like different things you can reference back. So we'll probably use the Nanit again, unless you guys have other monitors that you really liked. We have like portable monitors too for when people are over babysitting because obviously they don't have access to our phone so they can't see Logan, but obviously you're definitely gonna want a monitor eventually. But when they're right next to you, you don't need a monitor. But I did really love my Doc Tot. Again, I think that's another polarizing one. What isn't polarizing when you have a baby? You know, people just get all up in arms. But the Docatot was awesome because it's basically like a pillow that you can put them in. Basically, it's just a place you can put them down where there are bumpers on either side so they can't roll out, which is really nice. You don't want to put them in there and walk away. But if you're a mom, you probably know that. I just loved that I could like put him there and he was good. So there's a lot of different brands that make that type of thing now. I have a few linked for you. And then you're gonna wanna register for a crib mattress because the one we got was pricey. It was the Newton, which is awesome because oh, I can't believe how dry my lips are. We're just gonna ignore it, okay? Because the mattress is breathable. It just like gives you peace of mind once you finally put them in the crib that they can breathe through the mattress. So we love that. Logan's still in that until, until we get him out of the crib slash toddler bed situation, he will be on that. Okay, there's also a Brezza bottle warmer. And again, I think they came out with a newer option for this, even if you're breastfeeding where I think you just, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. You think you just shake the bottle and it warms your breast milk. So if your partner is feeding the baby and you're not, amazing, easy. Cause heating up bottles is just kind of annoying. So, but Brezza has one. I think we have it. I just don't think we actually ever used it, but I think we do have it here. So like could be a good thing to register for. And then anything Barefoot Dreams because it's so cozy and soft and incredible, but it is expensive. So it's like one of those things that like, if you don't have to buy it and you can register for it, great. The socks, the blankets, the little plush stuffed animals. Oh my God, it's all so, so good. Baby detergent, we use Draft. Do what you will. And I think that's kind of it, honestly. I have a few other things in the list that you'll see, like the Frida Baby cradle cap system. Logan had like really bad cradle cap, it wasn't that bad, but it was just like dry skin on his scalp. We used that system like three times and it was gone. It was actually amazing. So that would be cool. If you don't know what cradle cap is, it's kind of just like dry dead skin that needs to be like combed away. So you kind of like lightly sponge their head with a little bit of soap. And then there's like this comb that kind of like combs it all away. And it's like very satisfying. So I really liked that. Um, there's like little random things like that in here that you might also want to register for. But those are kind of like my top big, big, big things that you need like relatively immediately. I'm really hoping I'm not forgetting anything like obvious for a newborn. As I continue to buy things for this baby, I can update these, I can keep doing these videos if you guys like them. Something about my face today. You ever do your makeup and you just feel like your face doesn't look normal? I'm having one of those days. But we're gonna go do this hair. I have a bunch of stuff I need to get done today, but I wanted to film this video and get all of those out to the world. And um, like I said, everything will be linked for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope it was helpful. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye.